I felt that the Japanese and American soldiers, what they did during the war, really uh, exemplified what they used on stamps. They were really heroes, and they did something that was very unique. The Postal Service uh, does not give specific guidelines on how to get a postage stamp approved. We just decided to go all out, go for broke in a sense. As a sansei, it's really important for me to remember and to honor my elders. And my volunteering in this stamp campaign has really been mainly because of that. My name is Johnny Gogo. I am one of our local Superior Court judges here in San Jose. I started this 48-star American flag signing project because I was inspired uh, to do more to help educate our community about the Japanese American incarceration uh, history during World War II. I thought it would be appropriate to obtain a 48-star flag and, and meet those still surviving camp members. It's a national historic site because we were the very first group to be incarcerated under the presidential executive order. And this memorial as is at this exact site where we were walked down and the ferry dock was right there. Those who helped us. While the main characters are largely fictional, most of the people depicted here helped the incarcerated Japanese Americans in real life. Reverend Andy was there for the Christmas service. He had moved his family to Twin Falls to be near us. to Block 22 to fill out the questionnaire. You have a good batch of recommendations here, and those which attest to your American loyalty. Silly thing to have to do. Exactly. These are just a few examples of those who helped from across the country. These were bonds that were not so easily broken, no matter what political and racist attitudes influenced what others said and did.